Hey everyone, and welcome to another video. It's no secret that gear is an integral part of all forms of PvP, especially now with the removal of all scaling. As a result, us PvP players often have a lot of questions like, what's the fastest way to gear up? How do I get the best gear for PvP? And a lot of questions regarding the new conquest system and gear upgrades in general. Well, our goal with this video is to break down this new gearing system simplify it, and just give you all the information you need to have not only the best gear available, but also the fastest and most optimal ways to achieving it. After the efforts of many YouTubers and PvP community members, you'll be glad to know gearing from solely PvP activities has been greatly improved upon and will eventually provide a great alternative to PvE, although certain advantages can still be gained by venturing into PvE. Alright, so step one, you've just dinged 60 and want to jump into PvP as fast as possible. How do you do it? Well, there are two possible routes. First of all is giving yourself a little head start, which can be done by purchasing gear from the auction house. Now, I know what you're thinking, and no, I don't mean to go and buy 190 BOEs for ridiculous amounts of gold. What I mean by this step is that on the AH, there are eye level 151 BOE items, most of which are only a few hundred gold each. Purchasing these is totally optional, but we do recommend it as straight after leveling, you'll hit that 151 eye level, which is a great spot to be immediately. If you don't really care about a head start or lack the small amount of gold and just want to jump into PvP as soon as possible, you can skip this step altogether and jump straight into farming honor, which is our step number two. So, whether you're 151 eye level or still fresh in your questing greens, you can jump straight into the honor farm, which is the bulk of the gearing process. The fastest and easiest way to do so right now is to play BGs, with the fastest honor being doing random BGs, preferably inside of a pre-made. Just some tips if you're on the horde side, queues are generally a lot longer and you can talk to Sergeant Wilson to enter mercenary mode, allowing you to queue as if you were alliance, reducing your queues substantially. Also, it's worth noting that there is a quest you can pick up at the honor vendor called Observing Battle, giving you a little extra honor. But anyway, the reason for doing Battlegrounds is the purchasable honor gear. This starts at eye level 158 and can be upgraded seven times capped behind Renown. If you're watching this video before the season has started, the highest eye level you can get that gear to right now is 171 due to the Renown requirement. To upgrade a PvP item, you can talk to the facilitator of conflicts next to the honor vendor in Oribos, and each upgrade costs a predetermined amount of honor. Alternatively, you can achieve the same gear from dungeons. As this is a PvP channel, you're probably not going down this route, but nonetheless, it's worth knowing. Normal dungeons reward 158 gear and then heroics reward 171, so giving you equal gear to that of fully upgraded honor gear for the first few weeks. But honestly, we recommend skipping heroic and normal dungeons altogether. It's also worth knowing once a week you can kill one of the four world bosses, which rewards 207 eye level gear. There is no gear requirement to do so as you can easily find a group inside the group finder. For those of you watching on release, this won't be available until heroic week though. But for now, there is the Wrath of the Jailer event inside the mod that you can clear once a week for a chance at eye level 183 loot. All right, so moving now on to step number three. This step is something that you can actually work toward instantly and complete at any time, as you can look to do this at any point after you hit level 60 if you've got friends to play with, as it can be completed easily with around 150 eye level. Otherwise, most pugs are looking for at least 165 eye level, which you can get from step number two. Step number three is doing mythic zeros. There are eight mythic zero dungeons, of which each boss has a chance at dropping you 184 eye level gear. This is the highest level you can get and also the fastest way to get gear right now, excluding BOEs. And it will be this way until the arena season starts on the 8th of December for NA and 9th for EU. Now, again, as with any PvE step in this guide, it needs to be stressed that this is totally optional. It will give you gear faster, but if you just want to sit in battlegrounds, then no problem. This is because if you've got a full set of eye level 171 gear, you can now upgrade most of your pieces to eye level 184 if you've saved up 15k honor on the day the season begins. This is thanks to the renown cap being raised to level 9, giving you the ability to upgrade your honor gear two more times, meaning that you can jump into rated PvP with equal gear 
gear to anybody who's done Mythic Zeros. For the tryhards out there, if you want the best gear ready for the season start and in the fastest way possible, what we recommend to do is completing Mythic Zeros and then filling the gaps with honor gear. Doing the dungeons first will allow you to avoid any duplicate items and just make the whole thing more seamless. It's worth noting that you'll want to make sure that you have a medallion and emblem ready to go if you've gone with a more PvE focused gearing route. Alright, so we've reached step 4. At this point, if you're only wanting to play PvP, then you can just stick to that. If you're watching this and it's at least 7 weeks into the expansion, with a renown level of 22 and above, you can upgrade your honor gear to rank 7, which ends up at 194 eye level, just a little bit lower than that of a heroic raider, using the honor that you've earned from either battlegrounds or arena, whichever your poison is. Then, with the release of the arena season on December the 8th for North America and 9th for EU servers, we'll be able to gain conquest, which is of course used to purchase conquest gear. As there was no rated PvP enabled on the beta, we only have speculation and educated guesses to work with here. What we do know though is that you will get a set conquest cap each week. You can then use this conquest to buy unrated gear. We're unsure of the amount of conquest that you can get on a weekly basis, however. Unrated gear begins at 200 eye level, and in order to upgrade this gear, you need to reach certain rating thresholds, so challenger, rival, duelist, elite, etc. To upgrade your conquest gear, it once again costs honor, so I mean it when I say that you really can't have enough honor this expansion. Now, now, with the speculation going from previous seasons, we can assume the Conquest gear's eye level will look something like this. So, you'll be able to instantly upgrade to eye level 213 in the same week Arena is released if you reach the rating requirement. Then, a week after, once Mythic Castle Nathria is released, you can upgrade your Conquest pieces to that of a Mythic Raid Drop if you reach the rating requirement. And that's it in terms of PvP gearing. Purchase new Conquest pieces every week, upgrade them as your rating goes up, and you don't ever have to enter PvE if you don't want to. But as this is only speculation, we'll pin a comment below with the updated Conquest gear eye levels if this ends up being wrong. Now, once again, if you're a tryhard and want to truly optimize your gearing progression in the fastest way possible, you can still gain an edge from venturing into PvE. This is because you'll be limited on how many Conquest items you can buy per week doing solely PvP. You can complete the heroic and normal Castle Nathria rate, with the latter rewarding eye level 200 gear equal to that of an unrated Conquest piece, and heroic rewarding 213, equal to what we predict of Rival. Alternatively, Mythic Plus will provide a means to get some gear. Although much weaker than previous expansions, you can still get up to eye level 210 gear from Mythic 15s, but it's lower than that of Heroic Nathria. Then, if you're able to venture into Mythic raiding with a guild or even pugging the first few bosses, this can be a great way to get some 226 eye level pieces fast on the 15th or 16th of December for your respective region. It's worth noting the final two bosses drop the highest eye level pieces in the game at 233. So, eventually if you can get your hands on these, then they will be an upgrade due to the pure main stat. But I really can't stress enough that this isn't something that's going to make or break your rating goals. We're just providing you with the information to get the best possible gear available in the fastest manner. If you want to just stick to purely PvP, you'll eventually be on an equal footing gear-wise with players doing a mixture of both PvE and PvP, although they will have a small advantage early on. Okay, so that's the majority of the gearing system covered, but there there are a few new systems introduced with Shadowlands that I want to quickly cover. To obtain some legendary patterns for your chosen class, you could still be forced to enter either into dungeons or raids to pick up the pattern. And the same goes for conduits. Although there are indeed a select few from the Conquest vendor, certain conduits do come from either the raid or dungeons once again. And last but not least, and one of the most important systems to improve your gear is going to be the Great Vault. The Great Vault is similar to that of the Mythic Plus or PvP Weekly Caches in B. FA, but this is an improved version. You can have a selection of up to 9 pieces of gear to choose from, which you can unlock by either defeating either Castle Nathria bosses, which reward items based on the raid difficulty, Mythic Dungeons, which reward items based on the dungeon difficulty completed, and PvP gear, which again skills with your highest rated bracket for that week. And you can take advantage of the system however you choose, be it doing the minimum of earning 1.2k honor and getting one item, earning 6,250 and having three options, or even mixing PvP. PvE and PvP to give yourself even more variety. If your aim is to maximize your gear early on, you should look to either push your rating in PvP, complete a high mythic dungeon, or kill three bosses on either heroic or mythic difficulty. Just as a quick disclaimer, although there is a lot of PvE involved
involved in this guide, eventually the best in slot gear will be, for the most part, solely from PvP. So if you're not the 0.1% pushing for the maximum gear as soon as possible to gain as much of an advantage as you possibly can, it really doesn't matter. You can stick to PvP, play what you enjoy, and gear up gradually. But for now, we hope this helped. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and like the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.